six seven here, and if you can barely hear my voice, microphone issue, it's built on the computer, blah blah blah. Please excuse the watermark, it is annoying. Whoa, what the? Weird. I don't know what was with that. Well, that's from a previous tutorial of what I'm about to show you, a lever combo lock, as said in the title. Well, this is the first one where I figure out how to narrate my things, but I have to insert my voice after I record the thing, so it might be a little off. So, yeah, downside and upside. But, uh, yeah. As you can see, we can walk through the door now. Hold that. Stupid lever. Lag issues. I got a really lag issue. Now that closes and open the door. And let's it close and open. From the inside. Now this is the outside where the lever combo is. So if any of those are not in the right position, the door will close. And this is actually pretty good for a multiplayer server because it will annoy the heck out of a noob that's trying to get in there. Because I mean, he's too stupid to realize that he can just break the door. <laughs> I mean, yes, I realized this myself, but I think it was kind of cool. So, uh, yeah. And, and if the admin says you can't break blocks, that's even better. So, uh, yeah. Here we have the mechanics, that's the locking mechanism from the inside, that's the rest of it, and that was the inverter that I was just looking at, the torch. Pretty much if any of those levers are, I mean, if any of those signals are on, it will invert that, making it off, not letting the current go through. The lock, well, if the piston is not in the right position, retracted, the, the current cannot go through and will close the door. So yeah, this is pretty cool to me. So, like it, subscribe, actually, bye. <laughs>